Hello today's video we have the following content. Obviously, both are played by Zuzudan. Why is there such a big difference between Joe's hero and Hans Eiking? Recently, many costume dramas have appeared in the film and television market, and the online broadcast results are not bad. Liz Hauji ranks at the top of the Prosperity Index list as a dark horse, and Siphon Pavilion follows closely. One is a costume idol drama with sweet pets, and the other is a TV series about the youth spirit and the grudges of the rivers and lakes. Both have a series of audiences. However, under the situation of the good situation of costume dramas, a costume drama Liu Guanyin has become the tale. Although the leading actors in the play are all well-known actors, the broadcast effect is very bad. Before the broadcast of Liu Guanyin, the male lead was not optimistic. The male lead Zhang Han's previous MR. Duong Bak would poison the eyes of many people. Many people said that he can be called the Oil King. When he played Muir and Yan He before, although he was oily, at least he had a face to support it. Now he has become fat and his face is no longer handsome. After the broadcast of Liu Guanyin, it was a flop as expected. Many netizens complained, I wanted to watch this drama because of the heroine Zhu Zudin, but I didn't expect that after watching a few episodes, I couldn't help but give up the drama. In addition to Zhang Han's problem, even Zhu Zudin herself did not show her charm in this drama. The image of Han Ziking she played was complained to be ordinary and ugly. Many netizens couldn't help but ask, the Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber and Liu Guanyin are both ancient dramas with a certain fairy tale color, and the heroines are very likable. Why is there such a big gap between Han Ziking played by Zhu Zudin and Joe's hero? 1. No CP feeling with the male lead reveals acting flaws. Zuzudan plays the heroic heroine Joe's hero in the Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber. In the trailer, she raises her eyebrows, looks stern, and has a lonely aura. The posture of holding the sword is chicken domineering. This drama does not easily expose her shortcomings in acting, but instead magnifies her cold characteristics, making the famous Korean male star Kim Hee Chao regard her as a goddess. Moreover, Joe's hero played by Zuzudan is a person who has no feelings and no love. She is a scheming and dark as a black lotus. She was originally a disciple of Emma E. Secton's Anguji's childhood sweetheart. She grew up to be the fourth generation leader of the entire Emma E. Sect, but she is also a poor person and a victim. Her loved ones left her one after another. At her wedding with Zhang Wuji, if Zhao Min had not suddenly appeared to disrupt the situation, Zhang Wuji would have followed Zhao Min and left, and she would have had a perfect wedding with Zhang Wuji. This made her very resentful of Zhang Wuji and Zhao Min and the whole character was half evil and half fairy. Zhu Zudan and Liu Guanyin has a very complete emotional line, responsible for talking about love with the fourth Prince Jun Biao played by Zhang Han, but Zhu Zudan herself can't support the role of falling in love with the greasy uncle, but under the drag of the uncle, she has become a lot greasy. In the play, her startled movements when getting along with the male lead directly drag down her image, giving people a feeling of exaggerated acting skills and no connotation. 2. The appearance of Liu Guangyun is petty. In the Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber, Zhu Zudan wore a fairy-like ancient costume, cold in the early stage, blackened in the later stage, and her aura was as bright as a flame, which pierced the hearts of the audience. The aesthetics of this Liu Guangyun is too rustic, and the makeup in the play is also petty. The pearls inlaid on the shoulder pads look cheap, making Zhu Zudan look thin and completely lacking in momentum, like a little maid. The heavy-colored eye shadow magnified her disadvantages in appearance, showing a sense of cross eyes. In addition, Zuzudan's hairstyle this time did not conform to the aesthetics of the public. The bangs were relatively thin and could not cover the face shape, so the face became visually sunken, the face drooped, and the appearance declined seriously. It seems that the role played by the same person may also encounter controversy from heaven to earth. Zuzudan's Han Ziking was criticized, while Joe's hero was the white moonlight in the minds of many people, which is enough to prove that good actors are rare, and good dramas are even rarer. I hope all actors can meet dramas that suit them. Next news. He just played the male lead in an ancient idol drama, and he was reluctant to lose weight. The director of Liu Guangyun still lost the bet. In the star-studded contemporary film and television industry, the launch of a new drama always attracts the audience's keen attention. Recently, Liu Guangyun, starring Zhang Han and Zhu Zudan, was officially launched, like a breeze blowing into the audience's field of vision. The appearance of this drama not only brought a fresh viewing experience to the audience, but also triggered a series of in-depth thinking about the performance of actors, plot settings and the ecology of the film and television industry. 
The broadcast of Liu Guangyin is like throwing a stone into a calm lake, stirring up layers of ripples. As a costume drama, its appearance seems to break the audience's inherent impression of such themes. The setting of the heroine in the play is quite innovative. A mercenary from modern times accidentally traveled to ancient times and possessed a bullied concubine. This cross-time and space setting can't help but remind people of the classic plot of travel literature, but it is also ingenious in details. The heroine Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, has a character that is a highlight of the show. As a modern person, she traveled through time with super-strong martial arts and a clear mind. Facing all kinds of injustice in ancient society, she chose to confront head-on. This decisive and decisive character trait makes people think of the internet buzzword female protagonist is tough. Han Ziking's performance can be said to have given those White Lotus heroines a loud slap in the face, which made the audience feel very happy. There is a very representative scene in the play, Han Ziking was unwilling to be bullied and kicked the lady who bullied her away. This straightforward counterattack not only shows the heroine's courage and decisiveness, but also satisfies the audience's desire for justice. It can be said that Han Ziking's image perfectly interprets the essence of Xu Angwen, which makes the audience feel very satisfied in the process of watching the play. However, just as there are two sides to a coin, although Liu Guangyin has many highlights in plot setting and character creation, there are some controversies in the performance of actors. In particular, the performance of the male lead Zhang Han has sparked a lot of discussion among the audience. Zhang Han plays a prince in the play, who should be a graceful and majestic image. However, the reality is quite different from expectations. The audience was surprised to find that the former idol Zhang Han has now become a chubby uncle. This contrast in image can't help but remind people of the popular online saying time is a butcher's knife. In the scene of selecting concubines, the prince played by Zhang Han took the heroine Han Ziking back to the mansion, which should have been a romantic and touching scene. However, Zhang Han's body problem became the biggest failure of this play. His obviously fat buddy is still nowhere to hide under the loose ancient costume, and it even gives people an illusion of bursting. This image forms a strong contrast with the plot of fasting for seven days described in the play, which makes people wonder if this prince secretly hides a few big elbows in his sleeves. Zhang Han's image problem not only affects the audience's perception, but also triggers people's thinking about the professional quality of actors. As an actor, especially when playing the leading male role in a costume drama, it is obviously necessary to maintain good body management. However, Zhang Han's performance makes people think of the term Buddha actor. This attitude of not paying attention to image management will undoubtedly affect the quality of the entire drama and the audience's viewing experience. In contrast, Zhu Zudin, who plays the heroine, left a good impression on the audience. Her appearance in the play is elegant and beautiful, with outstanding temperament, and she interprets the characteristics of the role well. Zhu Zudin's performance can be said to be a highlight of the play, which has brought a lot of surprises to the audience. The broadcast of Liu Guangyin also reminds people of some problems in the costume drama market in recent years. In this era of appearances justice, some actors seem to have forgotten the importance of maintaining a good image. Cases like Zhang Han are not isolated cases. Jin Han and Jun Jirling has also caused discussion because of his body shape. This phenomenon can't help but make people sigh, have the actors forgotten the truth that one minute on stage, ten years of hard work off stage. However, despite these problems, the plot setting and character creation of Liu Guangyin still attracted many audiences. It presents a story full of reversals and excitement, bringing a lot of freshness to the audience. In particular, the image of the heroine Han Ziking can be said to have dealt a heavy blow to the Mary Sue style heroine, showing a brand new female image. In this era of traffic as king, the broadcast of Liu Guangyin has also triggered people's thinking about the quality of film and television works. Is it enough for a good film and television work to rely solely on eye-catching plots and star effects? The answer is obviously no. A truly excellent work needs to reach a certain height in many aspects such as scripts, actor performances, and production levels. The broadcast of Liu Guangyin also allows people to see some new trends in the costume drama market. In recent years, more and more costume dramas have begun to try to incorporate modern elements, trying to create works that have both classical charm and modernity. Although this attempt is risky, it also brings new possibilities for the creation of costume dramas. However, this innovation also brings new challenges. How to maintain the classical beauty while resonating with modern audiences? How to respect history and innovation? These are all issues that creators need to think deeply about. 
Liu Guanyin has made its own attempts in this regard. Although there are still shortcomings, it also provides some references for later works. Back to the issue of actors, although Zhang Han's performance is disappointing, his efforts cannot be completely denied. In fact, from the perspective of performance, Zhang Han has changed his previous greasy performance style in this drama, which is worthy of recognition. It's just a pity that his body shape problem seriously affects the overall effect, which is undoubtedly a pity. This situation has also triggered people's thinking about the professional qualities of actors. In this era of information explosion, the audience's eyes are becoming more and more picky, and the requirements for actors are getting higher and higher. Relying solely on appearance and fan effect is no longer enough to support an actor's long-term development. All-round self-improvement and strict self-management are becoming more and more important. The broadcast of Liu Guangyin also allows people to see some new changes in the domestic drama market. In recent years, more and more dramas have begun to try to integrate different elements, trying to create works that are both eye-catching and have a certain depth. Although this attempt is risky, it also brings new possibilities for the development of domestic dramas. However, this innovation also brings new challenges. How to attract the audience without losing the artistry of the work. How to cater to the market while maintaining your original intention of creation. These are all issues that creators need to think deeply about. Liu Guanyin has made its own attempts in this regard. Although there are still shortcomings, it also provides some references for later works. From a broader perspective, the broadcast of Liu Guangyin also reflects some problems in the current film and television market. In this era of fast food culture, how to balance commerciality and artistry, how to meet the needs of the audience while guiding the audience's aesthetics, these are all issues that the entire industry needs to think about. Although there are some problems with Liu Guangyin, its broadcast undoubtedly brings some freshness to the audience. Its plot setting and character creation show the audience a world of costume dramas that is different from the past. In particular, the image of the heroine Han Ziking can be said to have dealt a heavy blow to the traditional image of weak women and showed a brand new image of women. Although this attempt is risky, it also brings new possibilities for the creation of costume dramas. It allows us to see that costume dramas do not have to be limited to traditional palace fighting plots or romantic routines, and there are more possibilities. This innovative spirit is undoubtedly worthy of recognition. However, the broadcast of Liu Guangyin also exposed some problems, especially in the performance of actors. This shows us that an excellent work requires not only good scripts and creativity, but also the full commitment of actors. The dedication and professionalism of actors are crucial to the success of a work. From a broader perspective, the broadcast of Liu Guangyin also reflects some trends in the current film and television market. In this era of IP is king, how to innovate on the basis of existing IP, how to guide the audience's aesthetics while meeting the needs of the audience, these are all issues that the entire industry needs to think about. In general, the broadcast of Liu Guangyin has brought a fresh viewing experience to the audience and also brought some new thinking to the entire film and television industry. Its success is worthy of recognition, and the existing problems are also worth reflecting on. I hope to see more excellent works in the future and bring more surprises to the audience. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,